Right, it is uh, Friday morning. I'm here early to work. And I just wanted to show you real quick, just real quick, what I grabbed from Bigby Coffee, which is a coffee chain. They have a sweet potato pie latte. I got a medium. And they have a turkey and cranberry bragel, which is like a bagel sandwich. So Thanksgiving uh, is in full effect here. I'm super excited. Um, hopefully this doesn't give me the poops. Uh, I was going to set up a cool ending, but I can't hit stop with my other fat thumb. Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Welcome back to the J Twitch channel. Welcome back to another vlog. Um, it is Saturday, uh, the 23rd. Yeah, 23rd. Um, I did a horrible job filming this week. I didn't film periodically like I always do. I think the only thing you get before this is me being really excited about some Big B coffee. So, um, just going to do, basically, this is going to be super quick, y'all. i uh, just going to tell you how the week went as far as movies, packages, uh, other fun stuff. Just been a really busy week. Um, the kiddo had a cold Monday, so I took some time off work, and then I had to make it up. So I was, I was just busy. Good busy, but I was busy. It was work. I was getting paid. Um, so the week started off with Sunday. Um, the wife and I had a bunch of family stuff to do on her side. So we didn't do much. We were gone most of the day. And then um, we came back and we watched a movie. We were going to watch either Hobbs and Shaw or Escape Plan. Um, and we didn't quite want to sit through almost a three-hour movie. So we picked Escape Plan, um, which is the 2019 movie. It was the one I found at Goodwill for a dollar. And the code worked. So I ended up sending Rick the DVD because he wanted to rewatch it. And for a buck, a buck oh nine. Um now I'm trying to think of who that's. I can't think of any of the actual like main stars. Uh, Deborah Ann Wool, who from uh, is it True Crime? True Crime. I think that's the show. She's in Marvel's The Punisher. She's in. I'm pretty sure she's in Luke Cage. She's in Defenders. Um, she's awesome. I follow her on Twitter and um, Instagram because uh, Instagram things. And the other one was he's. I don't remember his name. He's in the movie A Good Old Fashioned Orgy. I don't know, I think his name's Mike, either in the movie or in real life, or both. But anyway, there, there isn't a crazy huge star. Um, but I really liked Escape Plan. I thought it felt like a soft uh, Saw reboot. Um, but I thought the puzzles were intriguing. I didn't think the acting was bad at all. Um, and I was really, like, I was into the storyline the whole way through. I liked the, the progression of the story. Um, I know it was not getting good reviews. I think it's getting a sequel. Um... But I I liked it. I think I gave it three and a half stars. Like, I enjoyed it. I'd watch it again type of thing. I probably will watch it again. I have it on digital. Then the next day was Monday. Um, oh, and I got a package Monday from Lionsgate. Lionsgate has been uh, nice to me recently. They sent me Three From Hell a couple weeks ago. Almost a month. Yeah, it was over a month ago. And then they, they contacted me about this. Uh, this one came out, I believe, last Tuesday. Two Tuesdays ago, but highly by the time you watch this. Um, and I've already done a review of this on my channel. Uh, 47 meters down. So this came Monday, unexpectedly. Actually came home to it on my lunch break. And uh, 47 meters down. Um, like I said, I've already done a complete review, unboxing, blah, blah, blah of this. This came Monday. And I went back to work until... I worked late. I can't remember how late. And then we got home. Um, I popped this in and we watched it immediately so I could get the review up for Lionsgate. So this was, uh, this was pretty interesting. I have a review up. Essentially what I'll say it was, I think I give this one three stars. Um, decent flick. Uh, of the two shark films I've seen, I've only seen like two. Uh, this was my favorite. I liked this better than The Meg, or as I call it, The Meh. Um, you got like the blind, the blind shark that, Jesus. Fucking cats. You got the blind shark on the cover. I really, I, re I really liked it. It's to the point where I'm like... Is it worth going back and checking out the uh, the first one? Not that they're, you know, any and all related. And then, um, oh, and before I keep going, uh, the, the, we're going to mention the elephant in the room, which was my lack of facial hair. Um, I decided Sunday, after I uploaded the last vlog, that I was going to shave my beard. I hadn't shaved uh, baby face in... Three years since the day I got married, I hadn't actually shaved, you know, razor and shaving cream on um, my face. So I was like, oh, okay, you know, I missed like the five o'clock shadow feel, etc. 
Um, you know, it's been a while. After a while, you forget kind of why you don't shave. As soon as I shaved, I look like I'm 15. Like, I just shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have shaved. I can't wait till it grows back and you can't see my fat face or my youngness because I look like I'm not old enough to have a job or a baby or a house, you know? So, anyway. So, that was Sunday. The two movies brings us to Tuesday. Um, Tuesday, we had the kiddos. We had the nieces and nephews. So, I watched a kid-friendly movie. Um, that Mill Creek sent me, and I don't have a review up of this one. I will probably Monday of this week. Um, Elfette Saves Christmas, starring nobody important ever, uh, Brielle Carter. Um, this was not great. And by not great, I mean this was bad. This was like half a star away, a rating away from being a hot trash, um, a doo-doo fire. Like, not great. Um, essentially, and I, like I said, I have a review, so I'm not going to go into detail, but like, this is so bad. It's not even on letterbox. I think someone had to create it. I went to put it on letterbox. There was nothing there. And then the next day, two days later, I went to double check to see if there was anything on there and it had been created. So like low budget, I don't even think it's good enough to be a Hallmark film. That's if that, and that's saying something. So, uh, yeah, Elfette saves Christmas. I think I gave this one out of five stars on letterbox. And that was, that was not it, I apologize. Um, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Really didn't do anything those days um, as far as, you know, anything worth talking about. Um, Saturday this morning, we watched some football games uh, with the wife, her te- my team, her team, and then, the, you know, the rival team, the one I play next week. And then I was shocked. No, I'm getting ahead of myself. Friday night. Between um, The Mandalorian Episode 3, which we watched as soon as I got home from work, and Friday Night Smackdown, I watched the three short story um, Toy Story films. So first we watched Small Fry with uh, the itty bitty buzz, like McDonald's figure. Um, I thought that one was good, you know, good enough to be a Toy Story short film. I'm not going to, I mean, three and a half? I mean, it was good, but it was seven minutes. I'm not going to, it's not five star worthy. They got all the cast back, that's what I cared about. So Small Fry, and then we watched... Is it Hawaiian Resort or Hawaiian Vacation? Which was the other Toy Story one. Uh, and that one was pretty funny. Like My wife and I laughed out loud at like two or three parts of that one. So that one gets like three and a half. Again, I mean, they're, they're not... A little Buzz was cute enough to get them three and a half. So we'll go three and a half for both. And then Party Source Rex. Um, with Rex and he like... Apparently he like... I don't know, is a party pooper? Yeah, party pooper. That's the word he uses. And then he... Has this crazy huge party in uh in the in the tub and it overflows and yada yada so uh, that one probably only gets three wasn't a huge fan of that one but they were still all great this is six minutes long I think it, it in total it was less time than the Mandalorian episode so those all go up on my letterbox and on Saturday after both football games we're sitting here watching uh, uh, a different game waiting for NXT Takeover to come on come on and uh, I get a package. In the mail, I was not expecting this. This one is from, let's see if I can peek it back, Mill Creek Entertainment. I've already opened it because that's how I am. And this one, I don't know the release date. I want to say it's like 12-3 maybe? I could be wrong. I'll have this obviously up in the, potentially in the description, etc. Um, so this is the fifth release in the Ultraman franchise. This is Ultra 7, ah, 5th, 7. This is Ultra 7, hopefully I'm saying that right. The 7th member of the Ultra Guard. Yeah, Ultra 7, um, the complete series 3. So, what, Ultra Q, Ultraman, Ultra 7. Of Ultraman, like I said, this came in today. I haven't even opened it yet to check it out. Um, so I will have an in-depth review, overview. What you can see, I'm, you can tell I'm watching uh, WWE Untold um, in the background. So... Pretty sweet there. Like I said, I'm going to have an overview. I've been getting good uh, views and comments on these because I'm not doing in-depth reviews. I'm not going crazy. I'm not telling you, oh my god, I've been an Ultraman fan since blah, 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 and I know so much about the franchise. I mean, there's probably so much stuff, and I know there is because there's releasing so much of this that I don't even want to pretend like I know shit. I just want you to be like, hey, cool. You know, it's an unboxing video. That's what it's for. You don't want my opinion. Who gives? That's what this video is for. So, anyway, I've been getting good uh, comments and stuff like that, so that's encouraging. So that's what this review will be, um, closer to release date. You know, flip through it, show you the episode guide, which it clearly has, which is cool. 
Ultra 7 there. I hope these line up with the other ones. So, other than that, and then NXT TakeOver War Games, which is excellent. So, other than that, um, that was the week. I mean, 9 minutes, 10 minutes with the, uh, the little intro I filmed Friday morning. Um, let's do a little screenshot right there. There we go. So, two packages. I've opened both. I actually already watched, reviewed, redeemed the code for Uncaged. So, now this week, um, tomorrow, uh, we've got more family stuff, and then Survivor Series, and then Rick and Morty. My cats just took something over. Rick and Morty. Um, and then it's Black Friday week. So, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday are going to be the same for me. Uh, Wednesday, my wife and I always watch the Charlie Brown Christmas and Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. So, we're doing that Wednesday. And then we got Black Friday slash Brown Thursday. Um, so I'm gonna see. I'm gonna I'm gonna try some different things with the vlog. Um, and we'll see how that goes. So look for that. Um, I'm not expecting any unboxings or packages. I did just purchase today my first ever pro wrestling tees um, purchase. So we'll see how that goes. They're from Chicago, but I would imagine it'll probably still be three weeks before I get it. Um, not looking to get it before uh, my, my wife's birthday so yeah so that was my week pretty boring stuff um just a ton of reviews two packaging i don't typically go crazy in oh that's not true i bought a uh a star wars comic that should be coming hopefully soon that one will come before the pro wrestling tease order but I, I don't go too crazy in november because with christmas rolling right around um and black friday so i, I pull my my purchasing way back and i um uh, yeah, I pulled my purchasing way back in preparation for Black Friday, and then I don't want to buy shit that potentially someone got me for, uh, you know, Christmas. So that's my thing. So anyway, let me know what you thought of the titles I reviewed, or the Ultra 7. You know, just, I think I only talked about these three items. Let me know what you thought about any of these in the description. Uh, in the description. In the comments in the description, I'll put the correct street date for Ultra 7. I will put uh, all my affiliate, all my uh, my um, social media links. So you got eBay, you got Twitter, you got Letterbox, you got TV Time, Blu-ray.com, all that good shit, all the awesome stuff that you can uh, find me on. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you later, YouTube.